Bryce Hall had a cringeworthy moment that has left him mortified after accidentally sending a mushy text to fellow sway boy Josh Richards instead of his girlfriend Addison Rae. Here's everything we know. I'm Paris Rose and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Since the TikTok power duo has come out as a couple, it has been no secret that Bryce is the ultimate simp over Addison Rae. He even admitted it himself in a recent Instagram post of them kissing with the caption, she makes me a simp. But of course, the sway boy still likes to keep a somewhat of a bad boy image. In the past, Bryce has gotten into altercations, challenged other creators to fights, and has even been arrested. He is not afraid to get into online beef, with not only TikTok stars, but even the mayor of LA for a party he threw last year. In the heart of the pandemic, when we're supposed to be staying home and social distancing, Bryce threw an epic big party that the mayor called him out for, and he was completely unbothered. He did not care, no apologies, no I won't do this again. He just said he wanted to have fun, and we deserve fun. That's pretty badass. But when it comes to Addison, he has no problem putting his bad guy image on pause and sharing with the world how he feels about her. Only problem is, some things were meant to remain private, and even that got blown up. After changing his phone background image to a picture of himself and Addison, he texted her, thanks for the new wallpaper, baby. The only problem is, he didn't actually text Addison. Instead, he sent the text to his close friend, Josh Richards, who had no issue blasting it on social media. Bryce realized his mistake immediately, but Josh had already embarrassed him on Twitter, reposting the failed text and captioning, would officially like to say you're welcome to Bryce Hall for his new wallpaper. Bryce was clearly mortified but was such a good sport and replied, I knew as soon as I sent that it was over. Always check the person you're texting before you send a simp text. Rookie move Bryce, but the words of wisdom are appreciated. This is very relatable. Who has sent a risky text to your parents, to your teachers, just to the wrong person, to your ex? And so it's a very relatable moment and I love that this bromance is forming and they can joke about it. This may have put a dent in Bryce's bad boy persona, but Bradison stands were thrilled to see the public display of affection. Some other fans even rushed to give the bromance between Bryce and Josh a name, calling them Brosh. I am into it. There were rumors spreading that Josh and Bryce aren't friends anymore and they don't see them hanging out. So this was confirmation that the boys are still friends and not only are they friends, but the bromance is stronger than ever. Being able to joke about gushy texts, that's nothing better than that. And we also get to see Bryce drop his bad boy image a little bit and laugh at himself. However, Bryce might not have to do much to save himself from becoming the ultimate lover boy after he was challenged to another 50K fight. An up and coming TikToker by the name of Raza North called the Sway House out via a huge billboard right in the middle of Hollywood. If Raza wins, he wants to join Sway House as a creative director or producer. If Bryce wins, he gets a control of the billboard worth 50K to do whatever he wants with it. Raza begged on Instagram saying, you have to give me a chance, to which Bryce replied, savage. Unfortunately, Raza was unaware that that day he purchased the 50K billboard was also the same day that Sway House apparently parted ways. Yikes. A for effort. I really love how Bryce came out and was a really good sport. He met Raza, told him to keep your money and keep the billboard, and he apologized that Sway House is actually officially over. Are we liking Bryce's simp ways or is he much better being the bad boy mysterious lover? And do we think that Sway House should definitely get back together? Let us know. I'm Paris Rose and follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news. Thank you.